I'm Big Will Levinson. And it's time to talk sports. It was a loaded night of sports in the Grand Valley, folks. We've got three different sports to get to, but let's begin on the gridiron at Stoker Stadium, where the sky was looking absolutely dapper. As the Central Warriors welcomed the Adams City Eagles, and Central did not waste time getting after it in this game. Kayla Motes is gliding to the defense, and Kayla Motes is in the end zone. Boy, that was smooth. Central takes the early 7-0 lead, and the Warriors did not stop feeding Motes in this first quarter. I mean, he was earning his carries, flying past the defenders and down inside the three. And the next play, how about 22 again? Motes' second score. Central extends the lead to 14. Next drive for the Eagles, and what seemed like a routine run was actually a fumble. And guess who picked it up, ladies and gentlemen? Caleb Motes has got it, and he has got his third touchdown of the night. We're halfway through the first quarter. It's already 21-0, and Central actually made a switch at quarterback for this game, putting in Riley Hoyt. Why? Because you want the other quarterback, Asher Carter, on the outside. So fast, so shifty. But this great touch out will be called back for a block in the back. No worry for the Warriors because, folks, Hoyt can sling it, and there he is, Jaime Padilla. We spoke to him yesterday. He's trying to show college programs what he can do. Well, take a look at that, college coaches. Padilla's sixth touchdown of the season as he celebrates with his cousin Antonio Reyes and the Warriors in the end zone. Central is up 28 to nothing in the first quarter, and Central just did not look back in this game. They put up 63 points on the Adams City Eagles. Utter thorough and complete domination from Central for a very important league win and their second win of this season. And by the way, that one win for Adams City, it came against Gateway. Grand Junction will play on Friday. And up in the mountains in Frisco, the Palisade Bulldogs, they too were absolutely dominant. 42 to 6 over Summit as Palisade continues to roll. They're now 4 and 2. Let's take you to Unity Field. It's Grand Junction and Fruta, and the Tigers are on the attack here. And it's a quick shot to the net, and wow, an unreal kick save from Fruta goalie Ryder Trimble. Man, he's made some great saves this year. But just moments later, behind the defense, Luis Mendez has the finish. Mendez's insane season continues. An absolute goal machine as the Tigers absolutely cruise to a 6-0 win in Grand Junction now at 7-2. They look for real as Fruta still searches for win number one. But let's head to Palisade High School as the Bulldogs welcome Fruta on the volleyball court. And Palisade did what they do. Addie Ritterbush with the kill here. One of seven seniors on this team is Palisade. Looks like a juggernaut. A tenth consecutive sweep for the Bulldogs simply in Incredible. Plus, we've got Grand Junction softball highlights available for you at westernslopenow.com. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.